Friday the 13th comes on a Friday in March of 2015, and it's time for another video walkthrough. We have places that we'll be able to go today that we have never been able to go before. And that's not just because of the snow getting melted. It's been a mixed day, mixed week. It's been alternately cold and hot. We had it up in the 50s, but now it's back down in the high 30s again. <clears throat> the exterior of the house looks pretty much the same. Most of the snow's melted. There's our door number still, door number 15. Today we got back the sign P&S for the adjacent 17, 15, 16 acres so that Dr. Lynn Baroness Misco Road, Misco Hill will have her territory. It's pretty much a mud bath and will be for a while. Duran is going to get stuck in the car so because we don't want his muddy paws following me into the house. But while I'm down here and getting a close-up of Trish, tell him how excited you are. <laughs> you can see the latest addition, one of Trish's all-time favorite places to be, the back porch. Deck. The back deck. Okay, what's the difference between a deck and a porch? A porch has a covering over it, and it's little, and it's in the front. Oh. What if it's in the back, and it has a cover, and it's kind of medium size? It's still kind of a porch. Okay. So if I get a tarp to put on it, a blue thing, it'll turn into a porch? If you get a tarp to put on it, I'm going to put it on your head. Uh-huh. With me, Aaron. He's going to go right out the other side, you know. When I went out and back to take pictures with the camera, my boot sunk in all the way up to the top lacings. So it's pretty gross in places. Took me a while to wipe it out. But here you can see the front. Places. Ooh. Did you catch that? Tell me you caught that. Ambassador Kosh, I mean Canadian geese flying overhead. come in and pretty much all the paint is done. So you can see the view of the great room looking up. Coming to the other side. So here's the dining room looking out the front. Nice dumpster filled with household refuse. Taking a look back towards the bedroom. One of the new features for this trip is all of the tile is in. It's still drying, so we can't go and walk anything, but this is the view of the guest bath, of the useless bathroom that Trish insists we need to have to keep kids from grandchildren from using our bathroom. Looking out the bedroom. So not only is the tile in, but the ceramic tile on the hot tub jacuzzi thingy is done and it looks really nice. The colors blend in together and you can see the molding on the side of the bathroom is fitting in with the windows. Here we get our first look at the cabinets that we're going to be having. This is going to be a vanity that's large enough for both Trish and I to have space to put our stuff instead of her taking my stuff and finding another flat surface far, far away to put it on. There's nothing new in the basement particularly, so I'm not going to spend time going down there. You can see the great room, the painting's been finished. We'll head on upstairs. 
one of the decisions Trish made while she was out here. So you brought her tape measure and decided the runners are going to be, I think, 30 inches wide instead of 24 inches. Turning around boxes of flooring that will be going. This up here. The set of stairs and things going up to the utility space. Come on, back up. Get our first look at what the hickory flooring is going to look like. Going into Trisha's office area. The window she'll be able to look out in the backyard. Upstairs bathroom. Again, more tile. Next vanity. They took the doors off to finish all the painting. That's why they're off since last time. Good look at the hickory flooring. The builder was telling Trish, now you do know there's going to be variation here, it's not all the same color. And Trish said, Yes, we like it that way. And a view of the kitchen. You can see in the aisle, the center aisle, the square part closest to me that just doesn't have anything in it is going to be the countertop for people sitting and eating and then the top part is going to be the work area where the refrigerator is going to come in which necessitated moving the windows the other cabinets the sink under the windows and where the stove is going to go now i'm not sure if it's going to fit, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe the cabinet gets moved over some more or something. <clears throat> One of the things about these cabinets is they close themselves. A twink. One of the things that Trish and I are really pleased about is the look of the black knobs and the, it's called shaker paneling, instead of a flat surface, it's inset, so it's, it's sort of grooved inwards. And we expect that'll set off the floor very, very nicely. Looking into the mud room, the, we, we were talking with the builder about the tile that went in here, and we said, is it going to be durable? And he said, I'd be willing to put it in a, in, in a, in a mall and have people walking on it all day long. So as promised, we will go where no video has gone before, the back porch. One of the things Trish was also working with the builder about was this part of here, we're going to need to have some kind of a gutter system. But you don't want the gutter to go all the way wrapping around the edge to here because then it would destroy the lines on the back and look kind of silly sticking out really far, but you got to have something to keep the water from going on here. So here's the part of the backyard that Trish will be spending the most time in. We have a nice stairway going down. And we'll end this video walkthrough with sweeping around and taking a look at the view from here. <laughs>